so in this program one there is uh, there is a infinite loop because uh, there is no conditional statement or no stop button for execution of this program so output will be coming infinite so here when the compiler encounters the go to statement the control is transferred to the start again and again to uh, label to set up a loop so output will be printed in finite time as no condition is applied in this program so for stopping this infinite loop terminated by pressing the stop button from the toolbar now next is making simple decision program we can make this program with if, if then statements the if then statement is the most basic type of conditional statement it is used to check conditions which contain comparisons operator it checks only the true condition of the program and comes to an end syntax is if then after that we have to write condition then write st then statement okay now and the end we have to write end if. So if the condition is true the block of statement specified after then will be executed and the program execution stop if the condition is false then statements are not executed and the control directly transfer to the next statement and after end if. now there is another let's move modulus operator is used to obtain remainder when one number is divided by another so there is one example simple decision making simple decision if the, with in, if then statement like c is equal to 10 uh, value of c is 10 value of number is 70 if number greater than 50 then it will increment uh, in the c variable 1 or end if. if the value of number is greater than 50 and then 1 is added to the value of variable c so this is the remark now next example name dollar equals to kip if name dollar equals to kip then it will print the name variable value of name it skips and end if the string variable name contains skips only then the print statement will be executed now third example input i we will input the number while running a program in i it will check either i not equal to thousand then it will print value is incorrect okay and program will be end the message value is incorrect will be displayed on the screen only if the entered value of variable i is not equal to 1000 now program number two program to display the use of if then statement is first we have to write cls then input enter any number message will be print and uh, while running a program we have to enter number in n1 if n1 not uh, less than 0 it, then it will print it is negative number or end if. if n1 is greater than 0 then after it will print the number is positive and end if. or and the end we have to write and then after that we have to click on this run button so output will be like this enter any number message will be printed then after we have to input any number like we have to we have input uh, 60 so this is the positive number so now message will be displayed number is positive so this is the program number two then program number three program to check the smaller number between the two numbers cls then input message will be printed enter first number in n1 we have to enter first number enter second number in n2 we have to enter second number then after we will write condition like this with if n1 less than n2 then it will print first number is smaller than the second number it is very simple and end if program will be end here if this condition is wrong so n n2 less than n1 then after it will print second number is smaller than the first number then after end if now third condition is n1 equals to n2 then it will print both the numbers are equal okay then end if then program will be end click on run button the output will be like this enter first number suppose we have entered 400 in n1 enter second number we have entered 302 second number is smaller than the first number okay message will be print because second number is smaller than the first number 
Okay, understood? This is the program number 3. After that, next statement is if then statement with the go to statement. Okay. So the, the go to statement can also be used along with if then statement when a decision has to be made about where the program control should go next. So the go to transfer the control to a specified label and allow the execution of program for a specific number of times. Once the condition is satisfied, the execution stops. Syntax we have to write like this if condition then statement then go to label then end so i will explain you with this program number four print odd numbers from 1 to 20 okay and from 1 to 20 counting we have to print all the odd numbers only so first cls n is equal to 1 value of n is 1 then b print it will print n then n plus 2 it will increment it by 2 because all the odd numbers, even an odd, it will increment it by two numbers. If n less than 20, then go to b. It will b we have make label. This colon sign it will make the any word or letter label. Then after that it will go to b again. It will increment, okay, and again it will print n and then end it. So after that click on run button. So output will be like this 1 3 and 5 and so on okay so find the sum next program is program number 5 find the sum or differences of two numbers depending upon the user's choice so cls start input first number a input second number in variable b we have to input second number then input enter first for addition second for subtraction Okay, then ch variable in the ch variable we have to input any number. Then it will check if ch equals to 1 then it will print a plus b. It will add two values a plus b and end if ch2 then it will minus a and b. Okay, then end it. So input do we want to exit y or n? So we have to enter y or n if you want to exit. Write, a, uh, write y in q otherwise n. So it will check a value of q is equals to n then go to start and it will uh, uh, not equal to n so it will pro uh, end the program after that click on run button so output will be like this first number 100 second number 200 and one for ad audition and subtraction okay now next program write a Program to print the series 1, 4, 9, 16 and till the 100. So CLS n equals to 1. Okay. Then it will label B and exponent 2 and key power 2. It will uh, initializing in uh, variable J. It will print J. Then n plus 1. It will initializing in N. So, if n less than 10, after that it will go to b level, then end if, then n. Then click on run button, then output will be like this 1, 4, and 9. Okay, student, so now we have done page number 72, 73, 74, and okay, 75 and 70, half of 70. Now, in this statement we will do in the next class. So, you have to learn all the programs and do practice, practical practice at your homes. Okay, basic 256, download this software in your computer and type all the programs and learn the output and syntax also. So, next statement we will do in the next class. Till then, goodbye.